everybody. Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you? How are you? Hi, hello, and how are you? How are you today? Well, welcome. Let's see if we can do some warm ups. I'm going to tell you to do something. You can do it forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. Okay, I want you to start with wiggle your finger. You can wiggle your finger forever and ever and ever until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I want you to wiggle your finger and pull on your earlobe. Here's your ear, your earlobe. Okay, one, two, three, go. You can do it and do it and do it until I say freeze. If you stopped, you're a good listener. Okay, I'm gonna make it even harder. I'm gonna ask you to wiggle your finger, pull on your ear, and click your tongue like this. Are you ready? Wiggle your finger, pull in, go. Freeze. If you stop, you really are a good listener. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap, they're in my lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth, but do not let them in. Very good. Can you do it faster? Let's see if we can do it faster. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth but do not let them in. I wonder, can you do it faster? Let's see, take a deep breath. You ready? Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them right into your chin. Open wide your little mouth. But do not let them in. I'm going to be doing a traditional old lady that swallowed a fly. I know an old lady who swallowed a fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a bird. How absurd she swallowed a bird. She swallowed a bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a cat. Imagine that she swallowed a cat. She swallowed a cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed a spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a dog. What a hog, she swallowed a dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. Swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a goat. Just opened her throat and swallowed a goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a cow. I don't know how she swallowed that cow. 
She swallowed the cow to catch the goat. She swallowed the goat to catch the dog. She swallowed the dog to catch the cat. She swallowed the cat to catch the bird. She swallowed the bird to catch the spider that wriggled and wriggled and tickled inside her. She swallowed the spider to catch the fly. I don't know why she swallowed a fly. Perhaps she'll cry. I know an old lady who swallowed a horse. She cried, of course. Burp. Oh my, so many animals. Well, this is going to be kind of a hodgepodge week. We're going to do a little bit about um, snow and sleds and a little bit about noses. Noses, yes. Now I'm going to ask you a question. I'm going to ask you, do you know whose nose this might belong to, besides me, right now? <laughs> oh, would it belong to a cat, <coughs> or um, a bird, or did you guess Rudolph? Sure, this could be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer's nose. Okay. Here's another nose. Let's see if I can get it on. <laughs> Do you know whose nose this could be? Hmm? Well, it's not Rudolph's nose. And it's not an elephant. Could it be a mouse? Yeah, it could be. It could be a mouse. Well, this next book is called Arthur's Nose. And you might remember or know or recognize this Arthur. He's in all kinds of books that Mark Brown writes, but he's also on television. Now, let me show you one of the original books written by Mark Brown. Here it is. Now, doesn't Arthur look entirely different? He has a very long pointy nose. That is because when Mark Brown created Arthur at the very beginning, Arthur was an aardvark. And aardvarks have long noses to suck up ants because they love ants. But a lot of people said that Arthur looked kind of scary with that pointy nose. So, this is how Arthur evolved or changed over the years. This one book is called Arthur's Nose. And one of the things I was going to share with you, and I don't know if it happens anymore, but in the beginning, when Mark Brown wrote a book, he had, well, he did, he had always had two boys, Tolan and Tucker. That was at the very beginning. He may have had some others after that, but... He would hide Tolan and Tucker's name somewhere in the book. So if you're reading the early ones, you might notice that. This is Arthur's house. See those long noses? This is Arthur, and he's worried about his nose. This is Arthur's mom. This is Arthur's dad, and of course, this is Arthur's sister, D.W. They all love Arthur, and they all like his nose. One day, Arthur decided he didn't like his nose. He had a cold, and his nose was red, and his sister thought his nose looked funny. And there he is, in bed. <laughs> Achoo! His nose is very red because he has a cold, but it's also very long. His nose was a nuisance at school. It bothered him. Francine, who sat in front of Arthur, complained to the teacher that Arthur's nose was always bothering her. And she says in a very loud, I want to change my seat. His nose really does stick into her, doesn't it? Right in the back of her neck. When Arthur played hide-and-seek, friends always found him first. Sometimes they could hear 
a runny nose. His friends thought his nose was funny, but what could he do about it? Aha! He had an idea. He could change his nose. That's what he could do about it. Arthur told his friends that he was going to the rhinologist for a new nose. His friends were very surprised. Getting a new nose? Dr. Louise was very helpful. She, she suggested that Arthur try on pictures of different noses. That way he could choose the one he liked best. And there's Dr. Louise. So, Arthur tried on noses. He tried on all kinds of noses. Losing track of this. Oh. All right. Do you know whose nose this is? An elephant, yes. How about this nose? A rabbit, did you guess? Now, Dr. Louise was a rhinoceros. And we saw this nose earlier. It's a little mouse nose. We know this one because there are bubbles underneath the water, so it's a fish. This one will be really hard. It's an armadillo. They live in the south a lot and they have very thick, thick, hard skin. Do you know this one? A goat. This one you'll be able to guess, a zebra. A chicken, mm, you'll get this one. An alligator. A hippopotamus. And this is one that's really hard to guess, it's very very um, rare here. It's called a toucan. They have big beaks. Toucan, and they're very colorful, orange and yellow, black. And I always say a toucan, not to be confused by a three can, but a toucan is a bird, and it's in southern Mexico, I think in the Caribbean, um, in rainforest areas. Now, Arthur tried all these noses on, but do you know which one he picked? Well, I'm not going to tell you yet. Arthur's friends waited outside to, to see which nose he would choose. And they said things like this. I wonder what his new nose will look like. Do you think his will look better than mine? I'm going to miss Arthur's old nose. And all of a sudden, they see him coming out of the doctor's office and he said, I can't believe it's Arthur. Wow, maybe he won't want to play with us. Arthur hadn't changed his nose at all. I tried on every nose there was, and it was just not me without my own nose, said Arthur. It's a nice nose, you know, Francine said. I still want to change my seat. There's Arthur with his old nose, no change. There's a lot more to Arthur than his nose. And there's his teacher having her picture taken with the class. And there's Arthur in his early years when Mark Brown created him as an aardvark. All right. Well, 
while, I'm going to guess you guys have been doing a lot of sledding. Um, it's been very cold, but it's also been very snowy. And here are my sleds. Let's see if I can get this so you... This isn't so... There. One, two, three, four, five. I apologize. I'm doing this at night, and it is really hard. Is that better? Five little sleds standing in a row. The first one said, we are ready to go. The second one said, just look at our hues. That means colors, our tones. The third one said, we're splendid in our reds, orange, and blues. The fourth one said, our runners are shiny and new. The fifth one said, I will count to five then the, that will be our clue. They slid down the hill. Only one thing that was not right. They needed some riders to complete the sight. I'm sorry, that was not too good the first light. I apologize. But anyway, are we ready for head, shoulders, knees, and toes? All right. So show me your eyes. Show me your ears, your nose, your mouth, your head. I'm going to move back. Your shoulders and your knees and way down your toes. Okay? Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears, and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Good. All right. Again, we're going to sing it, sing it even faster. You ready? Okay. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes, and eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes, knees and toes. Hooey! Good job. We're going to make some snow people today. Um, in this song, we are going to be singing. It's going to be to the tune of the farmer in the dell. And there's a snow dad, a snow mom, a snow boy, a snow girl, a snow baby, a snow dog and a snow cat. We're building a snow dad. We're building a snow dad. He's made of snow from head to toe. We're building a snow dad. And here comes the mom. Oops. We're building a snow mom. We're building a snow mom. She's made of snow from head to toe. We're building a snow mom. And I hope you're singing along with me. And here comes a snow boy. We're building a snow boy. We're building a snow boy. He's made of snow from head to toe. We're building a snow boy. And what do you think comes next? A snow girl. We're building a snow girl. We're building a snow girl. She's made of snow from head to toe. We're building a snow girl. And here comes the snow baby. We're building a snow baby. We're building a snow baby. She's made of snow from head to toe. We we're building a snow baby. And next comes the snow dog. We're building a snow dog. We're building a snow dog. He's made of snow from head to toe. We're building a snow dog. And what do you think is left? The snow cat. We're building a snow cat. We're building a snow cat. She's made of snow from head to toe. We're building a snow cat. Our family is now done. Our family is now done. They're made of snow from head to toe. Our family is now done. Well, I think with this cold weather, we've been doing a lot of outdoor activities, or maybe not a lot because it's so cold, but maybe we've done some skiing. Maybe we've done some walking on the snow. Maybe we've done some skating or some sledding. So 
this next activity, it, we're going to sing um, about snow activities uh, to the tune of the wheels on the bus. And there'll be the um, skiers on their skis go swoosh, 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 and it's going to be really hard because my mouth, it's hard to say. The children on the sleds go wee, wee, wee. The people on the snow go crunch, crunch, crunch. The skaters on the ice go sk, sk, sk. And the walkers on the ice go, oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash. Let's see if I can get that all done. And of course, it's all going to be on a snowy day. The skiers on their skis go swoosh, 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 swoosh. The skiers on their skis go swoosh, swoosh, swoosh on a snowy day. Ooh, that was hard to say. The children on the sleds go wee, 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 wee. Wee, 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 the children on their sleds go wee, 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 on a snowy day. The people on the snow go crunch, 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 crunch. The people on the snow go crunch, 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 on a snowy day. The skaters on the ice go sk. The skaters on the ice go sk, 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 on a snowy day. Now, hopefully this one won't be too hard. The walkers on the ice go oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash. The walkers on the ice go oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash. The walkers on the ice go oops, crash, oops, crash, oops, crash on a snowy day. That was kind of hard to do. Well, remember we were talking earlier about a toucan. It's a bird with a rather long beak and it, um, it lives in like the rainforest in southern Mexico where it's warm. Not in the United States, so we haven't really seen much of them. Um, we haven't seen them at all here. Um, they have a very long beak, but certainly mm -hmm. not this long. But anyway, I'm going to do it anyway. Tell me, who can catch a toucan? Lou can. Just how few can ride the toucan? Toucan. What kind of goo can stick you to the toucan? Glue can. And who can write some more about the toucan? You can. Well, let's see if we can't do snow on my forehead. Um, snow on my forehead, snow on my knee, you can bend down and touch your knee. Snow on my glasses, getting hard to see. Snow on my boots, reach down to your boots or your bare toes or your shoes or your slippers. Snow on my hair. Snow on my mittens, snow everywhere. Okay, you ready? Snow on my forehead, snow on my knee. Snow on my glasses, getting hard to see. Snow on my boots, bend down. Snow on my hair. Snow on my mittens, snow everywhere. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. Then the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Let's see if we can uh, find the spider. I have a little spider with me, but he's kind of funny. Sometimes he doesn't like to come out and play. And other times he does, but you know, I'm going to see if I can find him here. Oh, a spider, spider, spider. Come out. 
from. He's hiding. He's inside there. He's hiding. How do we get him to come out? Well, how about on the count of three we say, Oh, spider, come out. Okay, you ready? One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. <gasps> I see an eye, but he's still not out. Oh, dear, what do we do? Maybe we were too loud. Do you think we were too loud? All right, let's whisper. At the count of three, go, Oh, spider, come out. You ready? Okay. One, two, three. Oh, spider, come out. I see his eye, but he still won't come out. How are we ever going to make him come out? Hmm? Well, let's see. We did it loud, and we did it whisper. Oh, I know. Let's use the magic word. We can kind of whisper because I think we scared him the first time. We just to say, one, two, three, oh, spider, come out, please. Okay, you ready? One, two, three, oh, spider, come out, please. Huh? There he is. There he is. Huh? We did it. Okay, I'm going to sing a song, and I want you to sing just what I sang after me, like an echo. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Very, very busy, very, very busy, spinning my web, spinning my web. I am busy, I am busy, said the spider, said the spider. Story hour is over, story hour is over, see you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye.